Hi, Jeremy Young here, CEO of Atomos in sunny Melbourne. It's coming into summer for us, so uh, sorry all you winter folks where most of our products are sold. This is our 8.4 update for Sumo. Um, all about HDR. We've improved our black level on our LCDs. We went for a really high bright point, which ended up on the way we did our algorithms, ended up making the blacks at a SDR level look quite lifted. That wasn't because the panel wasn't capable of doing really nice deep blacks, it was because our algorithm was built for HDR. So we've now adjusted that so that when you're at SDR level, it's far more contrasty and looks more like a, a, an OLED style monitor. And then as you move up the chain, we dynamically adjust the backlight to allow you to see all of those wonderful HDR bright points, as well as keeping the contrast as high as you're used to for really nice black levels. So what we've got set up here is the, to show you the difference between the old way we were doing it and the new way we're doing it. So you can see that this is really contrasty. You can see the, the glints coming off her uh, ja red jacket there and the colors are really vibrant. And that's because of the changing curve that I just mentioned. On this side, it's a little bit more washed out, so to speak, because I don't really have a really high bright point, but I've got a lot of blacks and I've got a few bright points. So the contrast isn't that great on that side. So we've now adjusted it with our dynamic backlight control so that as it goes darker, we can still see clearly all the images. And as the bright points come in, they go really, really bright. And But the blacks stay nice and black. So this is a really nice change to, to the operating system and the control that we have over the entire pipeline of video in, conversion to ProRes, backlight control, LCD control, and all of the wonderful colors and brightness curves that allow you to see really nice images. The second thing we've added is automated flags, just like our Inferno series from gaming units, from cameras. So we'll blonk into HLG or PQ mode because the industry is trying to get you automated HDR and we're, we're on board with that and we've implemented it on our products, including the Sumo in this 8.4 update. The next thing that we've added is Panasonic Vericam LT RAW, 240 frames a second. That company is really doing a lot in cameras these days. EVA1 support is coming for RAW, so that will get 240 as we go through at the same time. And we've got a lot of new features on these new cameras as we're developing to upgrade the camera to new levels of functionality. High frame rate, HDR, all taken care of for you in the Atomos product. So you can offer that to your customers. The next thing we've offered is some improved audio performance. Asynchronous audio sources are now synced. We can also embed into SDI and HDMI loopouts the embedded timecode from the analog sources, like from the wonderful Rode microphone that we're recording on right now. And outside in this wind, it's performing extremely well, my cameraman tells me. And the last thing I want to bring in is uh, Atomos are really flying along on our, on our HDR production, and we're working with every level from students using 5D Mark IVs and C-Log for HDR production, which Canon's really excited about. And then we go through all the way through GH5 for getting into some of more the professional cameras, especially FS5, upgrading it to 4K60, all the way through FS7, the new range of, of mid-range cameras under $10,000. So we've got you covered there. And then you move up into the bigger productions where Sumo's really now flying along. So no matter which production you're at, we're taking care of you. Love your support. Thanks for everything, Adamus.